Κυρίες και κύριοι, αυτό είναι το τελευταίο από τη σειρά των ενημερωτικών βίντεο που οργανώνει ο Σύλλογος Ασθενών με Μικρανία και Κεφαλαγία Ελλάδος με τη χαρά και την τιμή να φιλοξενεί τον καθηγητή Άλαν Ράποπορτ, καθηγητή νευρολογίας στο Πανεπιστήμιο UCLA στην Καλιφόρνια, στο Λος Άντζελες, πρώην πρόεδρο της International Headache Society, της Διεθνούς Εταιρείας Κεφαλαγίας, του σημαντικότερου επιστημονικού φορέα για τις κεφαλαγίες και ανθρώπου που έχει αφιερώσει μεγάλο κομμάτι της επιστημονικής του ζωής στην έρευνα για την ημικρανία. So, thank you for sharing all this information that our viewers can see in previous videos on migraine and acute migraine treatment. And we have a last video to discuss migraine prevention. So, we don't need to discuss about the old school anti-epileptics, anti-convulsants, anti-depressants, but I would like your experience with two categories of medications. What do you know, what do you want to share with the audience about monoclonal antibodies for migraine prevention? And we also have now in Greece a Zipant that could be used as prevention. So, tell us your experience about those two categories. So we've had the injectable monoclonal antibodies for several years now, probably since 2018. And I have experience going back way before that because I was doing some of the double-blind trials so I could put patients in trials even before they became available. So I have a lot of experience with that and much less experience with the one G-Pant that you have for prevention. So starting with the monoclonal antibodies, an antibody has a very long life in the body, so, and, it, and it's a big molecule, so you need to inject it. And when you inject it, it's going to work for at least one month and probably stay in the body for five months. So they're around for a long time. So right away you have to know if your patients are females and, of, uh, the, and they might want to get pregnant or they're able to get pregnant, they have to be very careful because from every injection, there's five months where they should definitely not get pregnant because we don't know if these injectable antibodies are safe during pregnancy. So I, there is no actual danger proven, but we don't know and it's definite that we should avoid. That's correct. And the reason that we don't know is it's never been studied properly. So it turns out that if you don't study a drug during pregnancy, the FDA in America says, well, we don't know that it's safe, therefore you can't give it to pregnant women. So we always advise that. And if a woman decides one day, I want to get pregnant, I, I want another child or I want my first child, and they just took the injection, they shouldn't get pregnant for five months. So that's a little bit of a problem for some people, but at least if they know about it, they can deal with it. Do these preventive medications work? Yes, they work quite well. Sometimes one works better than another in a patient, and we don't even know why. It may be a genetic reason, because they're all somewhat similar, but every medicine is slightly different, so sometimes the same type or category of medicine works better for one person, and this particular one works for one person, and another in the same category might work better for that person. We, we don't know until we try. So what's your, trial and what is your general impression of how, how good these medications can work? I think they're very good. Uh, to give an example, they usually reduce the number of headaches by about half, Sometimes if a patient is lucky, it can be reduced from 10 headache days or migraine days a month to five, sometimes to one, and sometimes no headaches. I have some patients that if they keep taking their um, monoclonal antibody every month or every three months, they have absolutely no headaches. And that's, that's something that's really impressive. In addition to that, they have very few side effects. So tell us about possible side effects. What, what should I we expect? I don't even know what to say because my patients never complain of side effects. Here uh, in Greece the same, more or less. 
I mean, what, what do you hear from your patients? Very few side effects. Very few. Some stories. cases of constipation. Um, very, very few cases of uh, weight gain, but in general, very, they're very, very well yeah, in, I, I in their really safety profile. I really see almost non-constipation with one particular drug more than others, mm -hmm. but any Indeed. of them could do it, but usually very mild. And there are always exceptions where somebody has a very bad problem, but it's quite unusual. So I like these drugs because they're much better than the previous drugs in terms of decreasing the number of headache attacks preventively. And they have so few side effects. And the older drugs have a lot of side effects of sleepiness, weight gain, dry mouth, and so on. And... Um, uh, that's one of the main reasons I like these drugs. We have four of them. I know you have three of them and a fourth may be coming. Coming soon. And the last thing I would add is when do you think of prevention? And so everybody has a different answer, but here's my answer and it's a pretty standard answer. If a patient has four bad migraine days in a month, meaning they're in severe pain, they're lying down, they're throwing up, they can't function well, four days a month, or only two days a month, and nothing works on them to get them better, and they have severe disability, I think they should be on prevention. Like if you're anybody who's responsible and wants to go to work on a regular basis, and two days a month you can't work because of migraine and no medicine helps you, you should you think need, of prevention. You need the prevention. And um, the monoclonal antibodies, I think, are really good. Now, the G-Pant is better in two respects. It's a tablet, so it's easier Some to take. Some people prefer it. And they prefer it. And there's one that's available um, as a, a tablet that's taken every other day. And maybe one day in the future, you'll have another one that's taken one tablet every day. But it's not frequent, but it's at least once every other day. And it's a tablet. And if you are a woman that could become pregnant or thinking of pregnancy, you can stop it. And within three days, it's out of your body, not five months. Does it work as well as the G as the, uh, in, the as the monoclonal antibodies? We thought in the past that the um, antibodies were better, and in my mind, I still think they work better. But a study was done between one antibody and one G pant, and it turned out that they work exactly the same efficacy and probably the same side effects as well. So uh, they're both good, and they both don't cause many side effects, and they both reduce the number of headache day, or migraine days by about 50% on average, sometimes more, sometimes less. So, Professor Rapoport, I really want to thank you for being here with us and sharing your valuable knowledge and experience. And I would like to conclude this series of short videos. Is there a message you would like to pass to the green migraine headache patients about migraine? I think the message to pass to patients who might be watching this, they may not be doing as well as they would like. And I believe if you go to a very knowledgeable doctor about headache, we can block your headaches acutely when they happen and we can prevent your headaches or cut them way down in number. And so if you're not satisfied, you should think about getting treatment in some other way. Um, and uh, I'd never like to say to somebody, go to a different doctor, but if the doctor isn't helping you or you don't like the doctor's personality, you should go to a different doctor. That's my opinion, and that's what I would do as a patient. Thank you again. Thank you so much for being here and for talking to us about migraine. You're very migraine. welcome. I love talking to patients about how they can get better. Thank you.